Pisces. So family, what it do, it's your girl, Empress 777 here today with a general love message for my Pisces gang. It's gonna be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Holy angels and spirit guides, give me clear, concise messages for my Pisces. Soul family, give us exactly what we need to know. Holy angels and spirit guides, I hope you guys are doing super fantastic. I certainly am. I must say guys, <laughs> the meditation certainly played on my energy. I don't know if you can tell or not. I'm just going to take it all in stride. You know, nothing ever comes through that's not supposed to. Um, very, very heavy energy in the, the meditation, you guys, I must say. Um, if you would, please go ahead and take a moment and click that like button though. <laughs> okay, click the subscribe button before we delve in because we do have a whole lot to unpack. I'm gonna try to pull it together and bounce my energy back up to a level <laughs> where we can at least be entertained a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Your person is really pulling and tugging at my heartstrings here, guys. Y'all know I'm a G, so I'm gonna pull it together, but I'm just saying. So as you can see, we do have a bit of a pre-shuffle here, okay? Um, that also was not intended, but as you know, I just kind of go with where my intuition guides me. Um, in a nutshell, we are definitely dealing with um, a lot of history here. Okay, this is a connection that has a lot of history connected to it. Regardless if you have dealt with this person for over a span of multiple years, or if the two of you have only been in connection for a small amount of time, it's definitely a soulmate here. Um, it's a contract, okay? Uh, this is somebody who most certainly took this connection for granted that goes without saying um but even a step further um we're dealing with abuse here guys okay <laughs> i don't really feel any signs of physical abuse um i don't feel that right so i just have to go with what i feel intuitively this is more about abuse of power abuse of um something that uh, this person felt they controlled in the connection um you may have given this person control um that's something that was given not something that they just kind of <laughs> you know whipped up on their own which they possibly in the past would have liked to think that right that they just um organically are always in control but i feel like this is someone who you yielded control to because of the comfortability because of the um that magnetic type of pull it felt like someone who you almost share a soul with actually right it, this could be twin flames for some of you guys uh, let me know down in the comments however I believe that this is a connection that has gone through multiple phases, whether in this lifetime or the last, right? Multiple lifetimes prior to this because it is a, a soulmate, right? Um, guys, here's where it gets sticky. I believe this person is now going through, if not the dark night of the soul, uh, some form of a karmic cycle where they're being left to deal with not only what they've done to you but just who they are as a person <laughs> just who they are as a person you know what i'm saying the ultimate looking in the mirror moment um i don't believe that this is somebody who is willingly doing this it's almost being forced upon them right with the moon coming out prior to me even pulling <laughs> A moon cycle card right um it feels almost like someone whose dreams are being held hostage right um their subconscious thoughts this is someone who is being um kind of taken under control by the divine by spirit right so these are feeling these are unwanted feelings i must say that they do not want to feel this they do not want to deal with it actually okay um so for a lot of you this is somebody who never really wanted to deal with the issues in this connection they would much rather just lose the person right um as opposed to admitting that they're wrong as opposed to having a conversation about getting on the same page as opposed to changing really this is really about change this is someone who is being forced to change now whether that has 
whether that holds any weight, you know, for you is going to be completely different for all of you. You know what I'm saying? I can only go by what's coming out here. But nonetheless, this is someone who abused the love that was in this connection. It was very, very pure, right? Um, the connection was very, very pure between the two of you. And this person kind of tarnished it, muddied it up with their subconscious um, demons, if you will. Okay. So it's really, really sad what we're dealing with here, guys, because this is someone who's now only, who's just now only starting to see this, though these could be patterns or um, habits that you've had to deal with for quite a while. OK, you're not new to this. You are true to this. You know exactly who I'm talking about. Um, for some of you, this person may now give you a bad taste in your mouth, whether or not they're changing or not. Um, and I think that's where some of the sadness comes from. Not that I'm sad, but I feel an air of sadness. So you may be sad at your hand being forced to either walk away from this or no longer seeing this as the beautiful thing that it had the potential to grow into, right? We have pine cone. Okay, first of all, let me get started. Okay, run my mouth forever, you guys, talking about the overall energy. Um, so this is the second card that came out, but this is the first one I'm being guided to talk about, right? Pine cones are most certainly about the budding of a new start, right? It's the potential of something growing astronomically, right? Of something growing bigger than what anyone could have ever imagined. Um, it can also be a signifier of the third eye. I feel like this person, I don't believe that their third eye is completely open, but this is like the first step to the opening of that third eye. They are definitely having to deal with a lot of subconscious um, shadows that they may have just kind of been overlooking. This is the kind of person who bounces over stuff. So if you did have a lot of cycles with this person, what would that look like? Well, that would look like having an argument, maybe even, you know, breaking out with this person, you know, saying F them, blocking them and then unblocking them. <laughs> OK, don't lie. Don't lie. OK. Um, within the next couple hours or day or so, right? And then when the two of you decide that it's too hard to stay apart, there's not even a conversation or any kind of resolution. It just kind of picks up where it, le where it leaves off. There's no conversation had. This is the type of person who does that. They just bounce over shit, but now they're being forced to kind of look at things. And that is very difficult, okay? If you've never known this person to have much emotion or cry or anything like that, they are most certainly feeling a lot of heavy emotions all at once. Um, and it's very, very difficult. I hear crying. I hear kind of sobbing even. You know what I mean? Um, wow. These don't even feel like dreams. They almost feel like nightmares. Oh, my gosh. So we do have the moon phases, as I stated, right? So a, a new cycle. It also says ending and beginning and change. Definitely feels like death card energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, right? Or, or they may have that somewhere in their natal chart. Um, this feels like a connection that ended, began, ended, began, start, stop, start, stop, done, no, done, no. Like, you know, very, very inconsistent. Um, back and forth, in and out. Never really mattered how long the two of you were apart. You almost always seem to find each other again or always seem to navigate to one another again. Um, and that is just the pattern of things. If that has not happened in the connection in this lifetime, that's certainly the energy of the connection overall because it's a soulmate, guys. So you've, you've known each other before. You already know this. I'm not telling you something that you don't already know. Um... If this is a newer connection for you, you could just almost innately feel that nervousness. You can't quite put your finger on it. Why am I nervous? Why am I on pins and needles for? I just met you. Like, why do I even care? You know, um, it's almost the feeling that you already know something is going to happen. Are you waiting for the next shoe to drop? Or you can't quite pinpoint why you don't trust this person, but you love them or you really, really like them or you feel magnetically attracted to them or can't quite understand why you always feel you know, in um, out of balance. It's because of things that have happened in the past and in past lifetimes. This is somebody who has disappointed you over and over and over and over and over. Oh my gosh. Yeah, lots of disappointment, you guys. Okay. 
do you believe that this is somebody who may be being shown in the 5d like in their dreams and stuff how much they've messed up and so how do i fix that you know it's like I messed up not only in this lifetime right now, I messed up in every single lifetime prior to that. I never got this right before. I've always breached the contract. I've never gotten it right. But how do I fix it now? Like, how? what do you want me to do with this, you know? Um, so they feel like their hands are tied, but they're still feeling all of these emotions. Um, there have been some huge changes made within this person's personality, right? Those personality flaws that enabled them to treat you in the way that they have been. Okay. Um, yeah, most certainly have someone who's wanting to come together with you. They are definitely on the mind path of wanting to at least make the effort to um, correct this, but they just don't know where to start. You see what I'm saying? So all they can really do is spy on you or look at whatever text messages the two of you have shared with one another, go over and over and over and over in their mind as to how it got this far or perhaps what they can do to show you that the change is real this time or show you that they are actually being taught the lesson and they're actually willing to put in the effort right to learn the lesson they're not just bouncing over it as they would have before right to so someone who is being forced to break habits and patterns that they have most certainly had for their entire life and lifetimes prior to this it's really really difficult <laughs> oh my gosh yeah um, for this person to wrap their brain around how to even have this conversation with you, um, how to even get you to be in the mind frame to be open enough to listen to what they're saying because we've been here before, you know, heard it all before type of thing. Um, so why should I believe you now? We have to pay attention to the red flags that came out in the reverse. So this is a true change you guys okay this is not someone pulling your leg this is not a ploy to just get you back or to hoodwink you bamboozle you pull the wool over your eyes it's not it's not that but that might most certainly be your pov <laughs> from your point of view that's what you've been met with before so why would it be any different now you know what I'm saying? It's just kind of hard. You put your hand on the hot coals once, on the hot stove once. You know what I'm saying? Burn myself once, shame on me. Burn myself twice, God damn it. I mean, burn myself once, shame on you. Burn myself twice, shame on me, right? Or it may be right what I said initially, right? Because burn myself once, shame on me. That's not normally how it goes, but you may have been in the position to feel that way you know, to feel like it was your fault, to feel like you were the reason that things were happening in such a way, you were the reason for these cycles. Um, the new cycle in this uh, moon phase card definitely gives me the energy of where you are heading. Um, but we do have someone who is, if not on your level, they are, they are cl very close to reaching where you are. And this is why potential is, is here. Not that it matters. Don't beat me up. Don't beat me up. Oh, I just hit my hand. <laughs> Do not beat me up. I'm not saying that it matters or not. I'm just saying that that's what is clearly here. Now, this prejudice card, what if you were categorized into a group and given attributes that were false without truly knowing who you are? This is definitely the stance of where this person feels like they are. They feel like their hands are tied. They can't really prove that the changes have been made. Um, this is something that would need to be shown, but how can you show someone if there is no one even there, right, to receive? Um, that most certainly might be where their sadness is stemming from, as I stated there is love you guys okay do not beat me up and let's not get into into a debate about what love is and is not and all of that <laughs> okay clearly it's here all right while yours was given very very genuinely and without any regard um that is definitely the point of contention and i feel like that was most certainly abused over time OK, so you giving that again, I just uh, I definitely do not know if that is a possibility. But we have someone here, you guys, OK, who is most certainly making the effort. I do believe that this is someone who will. Um, uh, why do I hear that phrase? Play your game. No, you're not playing a game. 
Um, they will let you drive this boat. <laughs> Not that you weren't driving it before, because like I said, I feel like you willingly gave your power um, out of love, out of just loyalty, right? How you are in connections and relationships and stuff like that. You, you willingly gave it. Um, this is someone who is willing to listen to what your requirements are moving forward. Should they have a chance whatever your requirements are they will meet them and and supersede them is what i heard oh my gosh yeah communication is key we have new moon in gemini so most certainly a new cycle um but we still have those two split personalities and here's why um this is someone who is freshly being led through this journey almost of an, an awakening okay um who may be prematurely wanting to move towards union with someone who, like I said, may still have a very, very nasty taste in your mouth for them. So I don't know how realistic that is, but this is someone who's wanting to have full blown communication. Um, like an adult conversation, not just a one sided. It was your fault. Point in the finger, non accountability type of thing. This is someone who is actually willing to take complete and full accountability. Um, they will be coming from a very vulnerable state for sure. There is a bit of not only timidness, but lack of confidence because of who they believe you think they are. Right. The whole people teach you how to treat them. No, the whole people show you who they are, right? Once someone shows you who they are, believe them type of thing. So this person has shown you over multiple lifetimes. I'm just going to say that, okay? But if we talk about this lifetime specifically, it's even been a couple cycles for some of you. Um, exactly who they are. And every time you try to change your perspective on who they were, they only reconfirm to you again who they were. So this is going to be tough. Do you understand? Very, very tough for this person. Um, if it's able to be done at all. Oh, there's a card that I skipped. They said, well, we already knew, right? This is someone who was trying to bring things together. Um, most certainly reconciliation, but most importantly, a spiritual union is what this person is kind of hoping for. There is a soul contract here. This is someone who is trying to make good with this contract, finally. But once again, in this lifetime, they've also messed up almost to the point where it might be too late for some of you. you like, catch me next lifetime, motherfucker, okay? <laughs> Try again in the next one. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Joe, I cannot. So let's go ahead and pull a few cards from the What's Tea Oracle. Let's see what we have going on here. Yeah. So this is a no brainer, right? This is an ex that is definitely trying to become your future, um, trying to reconcile, bring things back together, uh, prove their point, uh, earn their keep. That's what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh we have keep shining so this is most certainly you you've done a lot of um healing work in this situation most definitely this is the kind of relationship that changes you forever it says your light uh irritates <laughs> their toxic demons i feel as though this is also why this person would have abused their power in this connection because even though you gave this person control they still couldn't control your shine i mean they couldn't control how good you look your ambitious um nature right the fact that people looked up to you admired you wanted to date you were waiting for you to be single that type of shit they couldn't really dim your light so so this could be the type of person who's not only did their demons um lead them to abuse the love that you would have had for them but they may have quite literally abused you like emotionally um mentally right with the games uh gaslighting um non-validation right not really wanting to compliment you or um show you how much they really felt for you because then that would give you the idea that they were stuck and they certainly didn't want to put on that type of um persona right 
almost feels like the type of person who would start some shit just to see if you'll chase them, right? Um, will start some mess just to see how much you love them, just to see how much you'll fight for the relationship. It certainly feels like that type of energy. Oh my gosh. That was definitely them operating out of their own insecurities for sure. Um, this, I just heard, is possibly something that you did not know. You just kind of thought that this person was toxic. It was, that is toxic, but it was toxic from the standpoint of something that they were dealing with internally, subconsciously, even for some of you. Not necessarily them wanting to do it purposefully. This is just something, this is just who they were inside because of their own shadows and their own demons. That's what it says. So, your confidence, the way you lit up a room, the way that, you know, people gravitate towards you, the way that you have like friends of the opposite sex or people that actually want to be with you, even though you were already connected to someone, they, um, it only heightened that insecurity within them and irritated them almost. So they would pick at you, you know, nitpick at you. Oh my gosh. <sighs> So we have the negative, the negative stuff almost like coming out simultaneously now where in the beginning it was kind of speaking of all of the changes. So everything that I would have listed in reference to the details within the, the toxic traits of your connection, um, these are the changes that the universe has almost forced this person, right? I mean, back to back nightmares. They wake up like they jump up out of their sleep. They try to go back to sleep and it's, it picks up where it leaves off. The nightmare is not over, right? So this is someone who may possibly be losing a lot of sleep. Not only that, they're being hit with a lot of emotions that they have tried to avoid for, for many, many years, many, many lifetimes even. Yikes. This is someone who may possibly just now <laughs> at this juncture in their life be learning where the heart chakra even exists, you know? as they were moving around very blindly, sleeping, you know, even. So we have distorted feminine, all right? It says fear of conflict, hypersensitive, rejection of rationality. It says too receptive and waiting for things to happen. Um, this one is screaming at me from all different levels. I'm hearing all kinds of <laughs> things. Wow. So. I don't believe that this is your energy, but it could have possibly been in the past, right? Um, not wanting to rock the boat. This may be why this person yielded so much control in the initial connection. You definitely have taken your control back for sure. Um, but there's something about you that may be too open to certain energies. This could just be the type of people that you're attracted to. This could be some subconscious blockages that make you attractive to certain types of people. Um, I feel like a lot of you have had cycles, not just with this person, but the same person showing up in a different face type of energy. Um, this is an individual who may be rejecting the rationality of the situation and this is why they're being forced to see things from the viewpoint of the divine like listen you've got this all messed up we're sick of it we are sick of you we're sick of you messing this up lifetime after lifetime after lifetime like no we're gonna get it right this time wow so <sighs> Yeah, I'm making moves in silence. Don't want any more um, anyone to ruin my plans. This is how they feel you have kind of affected things thus far. This is someone who feels like you have moved further and further and further away from them, not just physically, but also emotionally, um, energetically. They can feel you kind of disconnecting, um, though I don't believe that the disconnect has happened fully just yet. OK. Um, but they can most certainly feel it. Even when the two of you are not engaging with one another, this is someone who is not only holding on to you energetically, but they can feel you. Um, they most certainly know now more than ever where your stance is, right? As they're being communicated with during their, their nightmares. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold uh, a tight hold, a very, very tight grasp on this person's psyche. They feel like they're going fucking crazy almost. I'm going to just say that. 
the way that they are unable to shake this they definitely feel like there is something there's a mental tick you know like maybe they have mentally snapped right <laughs> i told you they're not able to sleep So these are changes that are being forced upon on this person. Um, the changes are most certainly opening their eyes, right? Awakening that um, intuition, that third eye for some of them um, to see what the two of you were to one another. For some of you, they may not have even known. You understand? They didn't really know why it was so such a magnetic um, pull for the two of you. They hated it, in fact, right? Because they've never felt that with anyone else before especially if they were a whoremonger or a male whore you know somebody for the streets it's like well why do i all of a sudden have feelings for you like who who are you you're not special you're not different no so in order to remain in control of that right they have to pick at you right shoot you down you know humble you get you to see that they're the top dog they're the ones on top here um they can I, I can i control this so i can con i can choose to love you or not <laughs> until spirit was like no the fuck you can't no you cannot you are not in control of this right they held on to control for as long as they were able to um you most certainly grabbed your control back okay with the with the quickness but not only that spirit has now yielded this person's control over themselves over their thoughts over their dreams over their you know so they can't focus <laughs> you know what i'm saying you've infiltrated their entire psyche you know so the changes are most certainly underway okay for some of you the change is most certainly are almost already done. This is why the potential of union would be there if you still see it for this person, right? Um, no need to tell me down in the comments if you do or you don't because everybody is going to be different at this point, right? Um, if the bridge has been burnt, then this person will just be left to to deal with this, to soak with this. You will, you will forever and always be the one, you know, who they allow to slip away. You don't have to necessarily end up with any soulmate, not even your twin flame. This feels very twin flame type of um, energy at this point. But even if it's not that, it's most certainly a soulmate. Wow. So you have fallen off the radar completely. This is why this, this move in silent Lee of yours if you have stopped taken to social media you're not posting at this time you may have deleted it completely um they can't really see what's going on in your life they don't know what you're doing they don't know how you're moving they don't know if you've moved on completely yet they can't feel you energetically they can't feel you at all like they haven't spoken to you you're not engaging this is driving them insane this is driving them crazy oh my gosh child <laughs> what am i gonna do with this <laughs> what is this okay let's go on over to the extended okay i want to see what karma will be approaching this person in the near future okay i definitely want to see that because um this will give you an idea of if those changes that spirit and the divine have been trying to get them to make are almost complete right um the more premature they are in these this cycle that they're going through it almost feels like an awakening an ascension even um a forceful one at that um wherever they are in that journey will determine whether or not this is worth going towards of course right because you don't want to be caught in the line of fire of this karma that's coming their way you don't want to be collateral damage i'm just saying i'm just saying um i also want to see what their purest feelings for you at this time are because i feel like that has changed not only do they love you but i feel like they're able to see completely right the blindfold is now off they can see who you are to them um so i want to take a look at that we'll look at their next steps so that you can prepare yourself the potential outcome whether you decide to engage with this or not we will look at that um the best potential outcome for either of those scenarios and then i want to see what spirits messages are to you directly okay uh, we'll dig into 
you know, how can, how you can make your next move your best move. So let's see what might be keeping you stuck in this cycle. What subconscious blockages may be enabling the same person, right? That I, I felt that initially um, to be showing up or to have access to you. Same face, different, um, same person, different face type of energy. I also want to see what can be done on your self-love journey to remove any and all toxicity and bring light to people or things that may need to be removed from your life this is going to enable you to vibrate at your highest frequency possible and um leave you open to only things that will serve you for your greatest purpose right for your highest for your higher self um and then i want to get spirits focused advice for how you can yield true fulfillment and happiness in your life in the least amount of time whatever that might look like for you right everybody's recipe is different so first click that like button all right, click that subscribe button. We are gonna dig in, all right? <laughs> I'm nervous. Let's go on over to the extended. I'm gonna link it down below and I'll see you over there. All right.